Power Mill now has the ability to enhance its toolpath capabilities, introducing Blisk Tool Axis Control to multiple toolpaths. To apply this, simply go to the settings form of your chosen strategy. Go to the tool axis form and select your tool axis to Blisk. Here you will see similar settings to blade finishing, for example. You can then select your tool axis elevation, which drives your tool axis using a surface to limit movements, such as using a hub, which you can now see highlighted, which is the surface that runs around the bottom of the blades. Another option is the shroud elevation angle that is now displayed and highlighted. This is another surface that runs around the outside of the blades. Finally, you can select your Blisk definition. Blisk definition can be defined in a couple of ways, either using the hub or shroud surfaces, which must be placed onto their own levels before selecting. Once selected, you can calculate your toolpath. Simulating our toolpath, remembering I selected the shroud for our tool axis elevation, you can see how the shroud drives and limits our tool axis to the shroud surface, projecting towards my selected surface, which in this toolpath is the fillet at the bottom of the blade. And this is how you can enhance your toolpath capabilities using Blisk tool axis control.